You want someone who's going to protect you and your interests when it comes to selling what very well may be one of your largest assets, your home. You'll want to make sure that the person you hire to sell your home has the experience and skill set to get you through the entire transaction and that you can make the largest profit possible. You don't want to leave any money on the table, right? First question you'll want to ask the realtor selling your home is what's your experience? You will want to make sure that this person can handle the stumbling blocks that can come up during the course of the transaction of selling your home. Oftentimes there's negotiations that go into getting under contract, inspections, even sometimes appraisal, and you wanna make sure that person can handle all of those things. And don't be afraid to take on a new agent either. As long as they have a great mentor, broker, or team of people backing them up, and that team of people has experience, that's okay. Go ahead and hire your friend who just got licensed. It's okay if your realtor is new and has experience from another career. There are so many different skills needed to be able to handle a real estate transaction. The second question to ask, if I list with you, will you be the person I work with or will I hear from someone else? Is there a team of people? Oftentimes, listing agents, once they get the listing active, pass things off to other people on a team. For example, an assistant, a transaction coordinator, and you might be talking to someone else. So just make sure you know who is going to be involved and who you're talking with. And that leads me right into number three. Ask your agent, how often will you be communicating with me? There are often many deadlines that need to be met during the course of selling a home and you want to be kept in the loop and know what's going on. It would be terrible to never hear from your agent after the sign is in the ground and you're just sitting around waiting and wondering what's going on. So find out how often they're going to check in with you. Number four, ask your agent, how will you market or what is their marketing plan? You should know exactly what your agent's going to do to get your home in front of as many eyes as possible and get as many showings scheduled as they can. Next question you will want to ask is how do you market online? In a 2020 study by the National Association of Realtors, 84% of people were looking for their homes online. I mean, how many of you have probably scrolled through Realtor.com or Zillow or Trulia? Yeah, that is where people are looking for their homes. So marketing online is huge. There is a difference between passive marketing and active marketing. So passive marketing is when you put a sign in the ground and just wait for buyer's agents to call and schedule showings. Active marketing is getting that listing out there on videos, on Facebook, on different websites, and getting it in front of all those eyes looking on Realtor and Zillow. Did you hear that noise in the background? Sorry, that was my kids. After all, I'm the Montana real estate mom. The next question you should ask them that goes along with marketing is, will you hire a professional photographer? So why is that even important? Well, have you ever been scrolling through listing photos and you get to the bathroom and there's like the agent standing in the mirror or the arm is sticking out or the pictures are so dark, you can't even tell what you're looking at or what about when the toilet seats up? That's also horrible. You don't want that and you only get one chance to make a first impression. Next question is what should my house be priced at? So believe it or not, highest price is not always best. You have to consider comps and what's sold in the area and appraisal. Your agent should be looking at, you know, the six months of recent sold to get an idea of price, especially if you have a buyer coming in who's going to be getting financing. Uh, they'll likely need to get an appraisal and the house would have to appraise for that purchase price. And if you overprice the house in the first place, you might have so many showings but not get any offers, then the house is sitting on the market for a long time and then you'll have to do a price reduction and you'll just lose out on money than if you price 
priced it right in the first place. The last question you should ask when you are interviewing agents is why should I hire you? The truth is no two people are the same. No two agents are the same. After all, we are individual people with different personalities and you've heard me say this in videos before. It is okay if you don't vibe with someone and go with your gut and pick who you vibe with and what feels good to you. It is totally okay to interview as many or as little people as you want. And I touched on this a little bit earlier. Um, what about hiring a family member or a friend that's licensed? That's totally cool and fine, but you want to make sure that they're able to take a step back and be objective because after all, they need to have your biggest asset, your house in mind when selling and you don't want them to get emotional. You want them to be professional through the whole thing. So those are some questions that you can ask when you're interviewing an agent to sell your house. So here's my six baby. My fur baby, her name is Zuri. She wanted it on this video. And if you need a realtor in your area to maybe give you a market analysis on your home to get an idea of price or you're selling, I work with agents all over the country. I have a network of agents, so please just comment below or reach out to me. My contact information is in the description.